Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. In this video I'm going to show you four different techniques you can do on a leather heart cup. Um, leather heart means that it has dried about one day after trimming it, so it's actually the same stage as when you trim it. So I'm going to apply these techniques after I've trimmed my cups. So let's get started. <laughs> First technique I'm going to show you is blending underglazes. So what I do is first center the cup. For this I use my give and grip. When the cup is in the middle at the wheel, you can start glazing. For this you can use any underglaze you want and you can also use colored slip. But in this video I'm using underglazes from a Velvet Amico. And as you can see I start at the lower part of the cup and I just keep adding more underglaze until you can see the clay through it. And I try to glaze as evenly as possible. And then it's time to start with the second color. In my case this is red, but you can of course use other colors as well. And as you can see I first make a red line separate from the yellow line before I start blending the colors. For blending I grab more glaze at once, so you don't have to take more red after dark with yellow on your brush. What I do is just move the brush a little bit up and down, so the colors blend in. And then I add the last color. I use three different colors, but if you want to, you can...
the sharp edges so the clip will get as smooth as possible. I glaze this clip with Celadon Green from Box Glazes. The last technique I'm going to show you is using underglaze transfers. I first cut the transfers in smaller pieces because the bigger the pieces are, the more difficult it is to apply them. Because the bigger they are, the bigger the chance that they will fold. I first decide where I want the transfer to be and then I wet it a bit with a sponge. When you wet it, the underglaze will get on the cup instead of the transfer itself. It's important to just tap with sponge and do not scrub because if you scrub, the underglaze transfer will move a little bit and you won't get sharp lines. I just repeat this with the different pieces of transfer. If there gets some inner glaze next to the transfer, you can just remove this with a sponge. These were all the four techniques, but now I'm going to use all four techniques in one cup. So I start blending the colors, but as you can see I do not glaze all the way down to the bottom, because that's the place where I will be carving away some of the clay. For this cup I'm going to use two different transfers with two different flowers. As you can see I only use half flowers because I'm placing them on the rim. And I do exactly the same as before, so I just wet them very carefully, try not to fold them and then I take off the transfer. Now I'm carving away some clay on the underside, but with this cup I had to be very careful because the, the cup was very thin. So if I had cup too deep, I would go through the cup. And then I smooth out the cup with a sponge. And I also smooth out the underside. And then it's time for the last technique I'm using on this cup, which is scruffy dough. So my plan was here to make some kind of curly plants. So that's what I'm doing here. And this is the final result of the last cup with all four techniques combined. That was it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the other new. But if so, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my new uploads. So for now, I say bye and I wish you a nice week. <laughs> bye!